Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your man James, aka JP. So, before we get started, I noticed a couple videos ago when I used the front facing camera, it kind of did some weird thing where it tracked my face, and anytime I moved around, uh, it kind of followed me which was very weird and i'm not really sure what setting that is i really couldn't find what setting it was so if you see the camera kind of moving around and kind of track my motions that's why i'm gonna try and stay as still as possible but we'll see how that goes and i just got finished watching avengers infinity war for the third time so i've seen it three times uh, within a week, I saw it opening night on Thursday uh, of last week, and today right now is Wednesday. So I saw it opening night uh, last week. I saw it Saturday, and then I saw it just now. I wasn't planning to see it a third time, but uh, some of my friends haven't seen it yet, and they asked me if I wanted to join them. So I said, hey, why not? It's a great movie. Let's go. Um, so I saw it opening night, and that was the best way to see it. I was surrounded by all of the just true fans of either the comics or just the mcu in general everyone that's seen the last 18 movies that understood everything that was going on and that was just really passionate about the movie you know clapping uh cheering at certain sections gasping you know all those emotions that you feel everyone in the theater really uh you know express themselves now when i saw it the second time since i knew what was going to happen I was excited to see everyone else that hadn't seen anything in the movie that happened. I was excited to see their reactions. But since it was already Saturday, anyone, all the true fans that really wanted to see the movie pretty much already did. So everyone on Saturday was just like your casual moviegoers who maybe saw the commercials or saw a couple other Marvel movies that weren't as into it. So all the times that they should have been like, clapping or or whatever like for instance when the iron spider suit came out um everyone was just really quiet and it really took me out of the movie i was just like oh my god you guys not understand what's happening on screen right now um now when i saw it this time i knew pretty much since it was a week later it was going to be that same experience so i just kind of ignored that i sat back and just kind of concentrated on the movie and tried to find little easter eggs and just little things that i didn't notice maybe my first or second time watching the movie and, you know, I noticed some things here and there, but I actually noticed something pretty crazy that I don't believe anybody else has noticed, at least that I I have seen videos of. And I've seen almost like every Avengers video on YouTube uh, leading up to the movie. After the movie, I watched reviews and little Easter egg videos, but I don't think anybody even noticed this. As, you know, I could be wrong, but I may be one of the first, if not the only person to notice this. Maybe not the only person, but possibly the only person on YouTube. So, the Russo brothers, the directors of the movie, said that they didn't want to give away the title or reveal the title for the next Avengers movie coming out next year, yet because it was a spoiler. Um, obviously there's a lot of events that happened in this movie, uh, from all the characters, you know, disappearing to Thanos finally winning and getting the, all the stones for the Infinity Gauntlet and whatnot. Uh, so obviously it's like everyone's next question is, you know, what now? Um, how does this tie in with the comics? What are they going to adapt? How's Captain Marvel and Ant-Man going to fit into all this? There's so many questions. Um, but one thing we can assume is that they're going to be somehow fighting Thanos in the next movie to get the gauntlet or the stones and reverse the effects or I don't know exactly what they're going to do. I have two theories. They're either going to use the time stone to reverse all the effects that happened, but I don't think they'll go that route because if they did, they just gave us this amazing movie and then it'll be like, hey, none of that mattered. Uh, I think everyone that vanished uh, got sucked into the soul world or realm or the soul stone or whatever. And um, I feel like they're just trapped in there. So we'll see. But basically, I think I figured out the title for the next Avengers movie. Um, at the end of Infinity War, uh, at the end of the credits and everything, before the post credit scene. I believe it's before the post credit scene. I can't remember. But it says Avengers Infinity War on the screen. And the title starts to vanish the same way that the characters vanish. But if you look carefully, all the, the letters and words start to vanish. But the two letter I's, the two letter I's don't vanish as fast as the other letters. And they stay more prominent on the screen 
uh, more prominent than the rest of the words. So Avengers Infinity War starts to fade, but you have these two letter I's that stay prominent and then start to fade a little while after, which that seems like they gave away the title for the next movie uh, just to me because if you take two capital letter I's and put them side by side that's the Roman numeral for number two um, which would be Avengers Infinity War Part 2 is is that the title if I can find a screenshot I, I don't know if I'll be able to find a screenshot online anywhere um, I'll try to if I can uh, but if not if you guys go and rewatch the movie or whatever that's something to look out for but Quite possibly, Aven uh, the next Avengers movie is going to be called Avengers Infinity War Part 2 or Number 2 or whatever, which seems pretty simple, but it wasn't confirmed, at least officially, but I feel like they stuck that Easter egg in the movie for us, which is pretty cool. So who knows? I mean, you kind of figure Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet and all that are going to play a part uh, in the next Avengers movie. Um, I don't know if you know the continuation of the events of what happened in the comics if that would be a spoiler if they gave away the name of infinity war part two because i'm not entirely familiar with what happens in the comics i know you know bits and pieces so we'll see what happens but i thought that was pretty cool let me know if you guys notice that and again i'll try to leave screenshots on the screen if i can find them anywhere uh but i'm exhausted it is now about 1 30 a.m so i'm gonna edit this video i'll let it render and i'll upload it in the morning um also, I got pretty bored, so this isn't finished product yet. Obviously, I still have a lot of work to do, but I'm starting a Thanos custom themed uh, sneaker of the regular white Air Force ones that I thrifted for like $5. I'm doing a Thanos theme. As you can see, I've laid down most of the purple and got that good. I've only got one coat of this blue down, so I have a long way to go and only uh, two coats of this gold down but i think this is gonna look pretty sick i'm gonna incorporate the um all the infinity stones on the bottom design i, I got some cool ideas so uh, i don't know if i have a video for this because i just don't simply have enough time in the day to even complete uh the shoe let alone make a video for it but once it's done i will have uh pictures on my instagram so be sure to follow my instagram the link is in my uh, description uh and yeah that's pretty much it like i said i'm exhausted so thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you guys think about my theory and let me know down below what theories you uh may have for the next movie for captain marvel for ant-man for all of that let me know down below uh, if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends click that notification bell so you can get updated on all my latest videos again be sure to follow my instagram so you can see all my amazing pictures and that's pretty much it so as always see you guys next time